Hello everybody, welcome back to a new video. This is Untamed News and a little bit of gameplay as well. So we're going to be looking at all the progress updates I didn't cover. Unfortunately, I would be busy those days or perhaps I didn't think there was enough progress going on. Uh, trans rights to human rights. <laughs> anyway, things have been a little quiet because we're doing a lot of bug fixing, but I've been working on implementing the new marking textures for the Ancestor. Look at him. The goat dino. All right. Working on some new rocks with more optimized materials and better shapes to work with the IK of the creatures. I don't think rocks are ever not going to be a challenge, but I am happy with the direction these are going. Very cool. I quite like them. So you get to see all these cool things. All right, the traverse. Okay. Okay. Very cool. All nighters for the past few days, working on updating the materials on the map, rock trees, plants, and now that landscape material itself i've only got one biome set up so far but there's more to come before and after i still want to do some fiddling with the hillside colors but excited to share the progress if it'll load there we go yeah i think this would look a little better maybe with more reds and oranges on the sides very cool very cool Nanite is enabled but cannot render because the project has Nanite disabled in it. Initiate R Nanite project enable equals zero. Okay. The same thing. Oh, I am so sorry. I'm also in the VC. In case anyone wants to join and say hello. Okay, vanished from the map. No idea where it went. Okay. And look, there's a little cave. Very cool. But a new and arguably nicer one has been added. Trees and plant materials have been updated and optimized. Much easier to see in the game. You get to see snow. Very cool. I quite like it. Very cool. All right. And the new lantern, oh, and the lantern now casts light in an expected way. Previously, the glass of the lantern was blocking light, and it looked odd, but now that's fixed. Very cool. I wonder why they still have lanterns if none of the animals are sapient. Lastly, all the landscape textures have been reworked. You see the old tree material in these screenshots for comparison to the new one. Ooh, that looks really cool. I like that a lot. Hope we get to see that in game soon. Very cool. It's giving me Yellowstone vibes. I wonder if they'll add hot springs to the map. That'd be pretty cool. Or the bacterial mats. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. Alright. Uh, Lantern Designs, one of a handful I want to make for the game, but revisiting the Lantern materials was a big help. I have learned a lot for future Lantern Designs, all right? You have strange little markings on them. These look like, um, light bulbs. In the low writing, you get to see the design. Very cool. But we have been working on our first AI creature, meet the Azer. I want to say Azerirua. Azeria. I'm going to call it the Az. Original concept by Vandakirius. 
Kiris, I believe that's pronounced. I'm sorry, I'm butchering so many names, I don't mean to do that. We only have a few colors for now, but we plan to add a bunch more to match the various biomes. Um, this looks like an adorable animal, and I want to play it and become friends with everybody. Very adorable. I quite like the big ears. I do think the tail needs to be a bit more streamlined, but that might be because it's testing in the engine. Very cool. Very cool. Ant Eater Ferret. I love it. Vulture Flamingo. Um, those two would be a little not great together. I think I think more Vulture and Hawk would be a little better together. But very cool. I quite like it. And untamed final animations below. And then after trying to revise the last Venari concept sketch, I ended up going back to the drawing board and seeing if I could better improve the Venari. After doing a lot of feline based sketches and not getting anywhere, I tried going in a completely different direction and trying the idea of the Venari being a distant relative of the Lazard and with a similar beak like mouth. This concept is quite a bit different, but I'm pretty happy with it and I hope you guys like it as well. All right, pretty cool looking. I still really like the cat. For the last ones, the cat-like animal, I really dig them. Maybe if they bulked up the shoulders and the chest and the forearms a little more, I think it would have worked really well. Cross-section of the tail. I quite like these um almost scale-like armaments right here. The Lazar doesn't have any ears, though. They may have to explain why it doesn't have any ears, but the Venari does. That's very strange. I like these uh, Kratnus uh, structures right here. I like that. Maybe they use them to um, lock together and butt each other's heads, kind of like Shringosaurus. Google that animal, Shringosaurus. It's pretty cool. It's like a big bulky animal with a tiny head with horns. It's pretty cool looking. Uh, did some more work on their servitopsians hooves after studying horses and moose anatomy. Also modified the rigging for them, and I'm feeling a lot better about how they are looking. Excited to start playing with the marking and materials. So my main issue with this animal, not saying that it's bad, but when you have a frill and head like this, your neck shouldn't be going upwards it should be a lot bulkier your head should be going downwards so it's more like a horizontal looking stuff and then the fro would go up there so that's a main issue with this and the legs are a little too small not bulky enough and the body should be a little fatter and the fro is far too small for an animal this sized you need the frill to be a lot bigger and like I said, because the frill adds a lot more weight to the head, even when it's hollow, like in these areas show right here, it's still a lot of weight along with the horns on top. So you need to bulk up that neck and that neck needs to be a bit more horizontal instead of upwards like a deer. Because with deer, their antlers are like pure bone, but they only have antlers. They don't have frills. With the legs, they should probably look more like a mountain goat instead of a deer because mountain goats are a lot better at gripping things like rams you want more ram like feet instead of deer like hooves or moose like hooves because this animal is going to be more head butting based than deer are so you probably more defensive legs instead of the more sprinty legs like i said i've had to make alien animals before i have to think about these things a lot and when you study animals for a long time, like I have, even though I'm not officially a scientist, I would like to be someday. But um, officially, you need the animals to look like their role indicates. This looks more like a sprinting animal. It should not have a frill. These horns are okay up front and the whole beak structure. That's fine. But the frill, th that neck would not support that frill. It, it seems more mammalian when you need to look more reptilian, more like birds, more like, um, more like ceratopsians, more like pachycephalosaurs, you know, 
all those different animals. You need to look at those instead of deer for this type of frill arrangement. So that's my main issue with this animal. If they got rid of that frill and added and kept these horns like that, I think it would look a lot better. Get rid of that frill, um, change up the name a little bit, and then add the frill to another animal, another herbivorous animal. Like I said, the legs need to be more mountain goat-like, maybe more like a ram or a sheep instead of deer. Deer are very sprinty animals, and this does not look like um. A sprinter. Also, the tail is a bit too long. Try try cutting the tail down to here, maybe, and then it would look a lot better. Just just my thoughts. Not saying that this is a bad animal. It's a very interesting animal, that's for sure. But I think I think this whole area up here needs to be reworked. You do not need that frill if you have that type of neck. That's not good for your animal. Also, the frill would kind of get in the way of ears like this you would need more hole like ears kind of like amphibians sorry if you guys hear that in the background oh there we go it changed but but ears like this do not fit frills like this you're gonna accidentally rip those off once you lock horns with an a rival but yeah you gotta be careful about that You get to see the front. Yeah, see, it's a sprinter animal, but you wouldn't have these this front ornamentation if you're a sprinter. This is more of a defensive or display structure. If you got rid of the frill and just kept those two horns up there, I think it would be a lot better. Because if you keep the frill, you need see what I mean. Look how awkward that looks from behind. It's a very interesting fantasy animal, but but biologically, it doesn't really look great. It's very odd looking back here. That being said, these hooves are actually looking pretty good. I won't lie. They're pretty good looking hooves. I am a little confused by these here. But I think deer do have those on a much smaller scale. Uh, scale? Scale. They have them on a very small scale. Okay. And that's everything for the updates. Um... I'm also going to be playing a little bit of Untamed itself, if I could grab that. Uh, here it is. Oh, no, I don't want that shown. Alright, right there. Okay, capture that. Okay. Okay, okay. And then maybe it'll show. Yep, there it is. Okay. Let me fix this up a little bit. Because for some reason it keeps moving everything out to the side. I sure wish I knew how to edit. <laughs> that would be great. That's okay. There we go. Alright, perfect. So we're going to be playing a little bit of Untamed. Let me see if I can join a server. Sunstar. We're going to be picking a random skin that I had a preset. But but you've heard my thoughts about the animals so far. The um the big cat animal had a lot of great things about it. Maybe a little shorter tail would fit it a little better, but um I don't I don't really dig the vibe of that new lazard relative and the deer ceratopsian mixture. Maybe you need to look more at giraffes instead of ceratopsians because ceratopsians are very bulky animals. Will it join? Or do I need to host one? You know what? I'll just host the server. It's whatever. It's a password or whatever. Demo. Yeah, why not? Start. Start. It's not working. That's okay. I think we're going to quickly exit and then uh, restart the thing and hopefully it'll fix. If not, that's perfectly fine. Uh, the video is already over 10 minutes by now, I'm sure. But, you know, I like I like doing these things. Alrighty. Let's join a server. Yes. Join. But yeah, as I said, my main issues about the um, designs, I do want... I do want uh, 
What is this? No preset. Uh, let's load this preset. Not really feeling that one. How about this one? Oh, this looks like a hot springs. I am going to swap. And it's raining. T. Why T? Oh. What's up, buddy? Very strange it shows my uh, update, my uh, name above my thingy. Very strange. But uh, yeah, I thought I'd just walk around and everything. But yeah, I thought I'd just like run around a little bit as a little animal thing. The lizard. I've said my issues with some of the creature designs. A lot of them are the same ish. You need to watch out about that. But but like I said, you know. It's it's a work in progress. I've I've said my things about it, and hopefully they'll change it up. And even if they don't, it is a very cool looking skin. Wow, oh, that's uh. God going for the event. <laughs> oh god, he died. Anyway. It is funny that it just like randomly rained like that. I do think, um, the, the, like I said, the creature variety needs to change up a little bit. I do think that, um, this game has a lot of potential. If the devs want to reach out and, uh, talk to me about this sort of stuff, I don't mind. Even if they don't listen, you know, it's whatever. It's just my thoughts. I'm a total dork. I made it blind. Hmm. The blinding. But yeah. Like I just said, it was a. Uh, I've tried. I mean, I've said my thoughts about this game. I have. It has a lot of potential. It just needs some work, you know. Uh, the demo is free to play. In the description, I'll put the links to that. I will also put the links to the Discord and also different Discords uh, of the game that... Oh, look at that little H animation! Middle of nowhere. I do not support AI. Unless you like Cortana. As in the Halo AI. Or like the AI from Detroit Become Human, but not the AI trying to steal uh, voice actor jobs and concept artist jobs. I do not support that. And if you support that, um, please get away from me. Anyway. Uh, yeah. Like I said, game has potential. I do want to support it. And if you want to support it, like I said, there is a Ko-Fi going on right now. Coffee, Ko-Fi. Um, I'm unable to donate because there are issues with the site with me for some reason. But um, like I said, 
if you want to donate, feel free. Let them know that I sent you to the Discord or whatever. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you didn't, that's perfectly fine. But uh, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, feel free to just discuss what your thoughts on the game so far and everything like that. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy. See you.